3,660 pounds, 18 foot tandem axle Kodiak Cub Hybrid. Virtually new coming in on trade here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. After one season, the folks decided it was time to update, upgrade. Um, and uh, <laughs> she wanted a hybrid, but he got his wish. And I, I think in the end, they're both going to be happy. You see that big two slide rockwood right there. That's what they're taking home in its place. Um, it looks absolutely fantastic inside, outside. You're seeing it in travel mode right now with the beds closed. We'll see it in travel mode on the inside, then we'll pop everything open, walk back around the outside. I'm just having a thought here. Looking at this, the uh, the, the linear graphics and that, you know, that electric blue accent line <laughs> sure does look a lot like a Jayco J feather to me. That's funny, right? <laughs> Now usually when I show stuff in what I call travel mode, that usually means with the slides open, but in the case of a hybrid, not quite. Um, the uh, other thing that we can take a look at here real quick is the dinette in the down sleeper position, or you could say cargo ride position. I've got all the shades drawn, I'll go ahead and open those up uh, also, you know, so you can kind of see this thing really two different ways, but hybrids in travel mode mostly just mean with the beds closed. Now you can see those handy little bungee jobs right there. They help keep the beds in place so you don't have to constantly super wrestle with that mattress every time you start and stop. Uh, but they also make it really easy. Once you open that bed end, you just flop the bed down in place. And <laughs> I tell you, compared to a pop-up camper, a hybrid is just a breeze. So beds open, windows open. Now the windows are going to mess with the light of the camera a little bit. Um, so let me get up close here real quick to kind of give you a good sense of what the true color of everything is. I think uh, there was a song about that by Cindy Lauper about your true colors. Never mind that though. Um, I like the colors. I like the tones. I like that lighter floor and that really helps brighten it up in here. Um, carpetless, ventless flooring. That table's free floating so if you want to kick it out for picnic time you can. Storage below the dinette via some drawers right there and big window right here overlooking your dining. Now this is a more simple series hybrid and as is typically the case in the market, uh, it doesn't tend to come with a TV, but you see right there you could add one if you're so inclined and right there is your uh, Bluetooth DVD stereo with all the hookups and everything very conveniently located by it. So the positioning of everything here makes a lot of sense. Uh, you've got uh, you know your 60 by 80 queen uh, front bed and rear bed. You have dual true queens on this, which is kind of handy. And uh, I, I mentioned the dinette. I showed you the dinette folded down to a sleeper, but the sofa bifolds down as well. Then as we roll our way up here, you see we've got all kinds of cabinet space. And give me just a second. I'll get everything open and flipped around. You get to look at all the storage in here. So starting with that storage cabinet there above the sofa, which is where we were at right before we flipped around, uh, thing I want to mention to you, this is actually uh, like a, a pass-through cabinet. It was a funny size because the cabinet doors, they all kind of standardize, so a third door wouldn't fit. But it's not too far, I think, that you can't reach through. I think it's a reasonable expectation, you know, and there's nothing that seems out of the ordinary or crazy there. The stainless appliances in this have given it a nice look. And I will say, as we go down the kitchen, the big kitchen window... And the fact that they recessed the sink and the stove and then gave them flush mount covers was genius because hybrids just don't have good counter space normally. And they gave this one some pretty decent space. Also, decent drawer capacity, largely because as we go right here past the space that would be perfect for like a wastebasket, you notice this is built intentionally with no oven, which in a little hybrid camper like this, I think is the right design decision to call. Um, uh, very few people actually use the ovens in RVs, especially here in the Midwest. Now I know that there's some places where people are like, man, I gotta have my biscuits or my cookies, I gotta have an oven. Okay, I totally get that. That's one of the reasons we like our Rockwoods here at Halet RV, they tend to accommodate that. Um, Two-way gas electric fridge, and these pantry doors, you see they're really big, but they're a little deceptive because when you come around the corner, you say, oh, there's no storage down there. There's just a super big, giant, tall door. Well, that, you know, blocked out cabinet space below, I'm going to guess is where something like the water pump, water heater, uh, there's, there's going to be a device down there that's going to be something of like an access panel. So let me take a moment to close everything back up real quick so it doesn't look all blown apart and you get to see it kind of in, you know, daytime mode. Which again has a nice look. Being a late model, it's got a lot of more of the uh, you know modern color palettes and aesthetics going on with it. And I think that this is going to uh, appeal to a lot of people. All the countertops we've seen, including the dining table, by the way, 
are all a sealed edge press membrane, which is something that you find in the market quite a bit right now. Actually originated with Coachman RV. They own the company that did that, later acquired by Forest River, and uh, that's why you see the most of it in Forest River, but starting to penetrate through. Remember, 60 by 80 queen bed, and these um, supports right there, it gives that bed like a 1,050 pound rating. It's pretty heavy duty. Another thing you are gonna get to see in real time is as we come around in here, when you're sneaking in to use the bathroom at night, you have motion lighting. How about that? So it's on when you need it, it's off when you don't. Now, <laughs> if you're sitting on the toilet too long on a Taco Tuesday emergency, <clears throat> well then, the light might go off. What you gotta do is wave your arms like a crazy person and shake the camper a little bit and then the light should come back on pretty easy. Now, even in here, you still have the sealed edge counters, which is a nice touch. The shower is small, it's minimal, but it's, you know, it's a small camper and a lot of people buy these with no intention of using the shower. So I think it was smart that they didn't go whole hog here. Back outside in campsite mode, our first time getting to see the bed ends all opened up and there's nothing bad to be found here. They, uh, again, didn't use it very much. The material all looks good. There's no tears, snags, stains. It wasn't put away wet, anything like that. You can see how the skin still has a lot of gleam. The tires look fantastic. It's a virtually new trailer. Virtually new does, yes, mean used, but it also means not beat up. Um, now, this storage area right here goes under the sofa, but in a really uncommon thing in hybrid and a really awesome thing, is that it actually has a full front pass-through. If I get in here a little farther in the camera, just so you can see it goes all the way through to the other side, and there's a door over there. Um, that's awesome, because that gives you a place to like, keep your hitch out of the way when you're at your destination. These are also magnet holdbacks, so it's just really easy to operate. And there you can see the little plug for a little trickle solar charger. Um, very handy if you're gonna be off-grid, and you just wanna kinda keep your battery topped off to keep the fridge running on propane, lights, fans, etc. Um, you know, other than that, I think one of the best things I can say about this RV is that I don't see anything remarkable, and I don't mean that negatively. I mean, I don't see anything uh, worth remarking upon, such as there's no damage, there's no scratches, there's no leaks, there's nothing bad. Just once again, with that color palette, those the, the white skin with the black and blue linear lines, it sure does look a heck of a lot like a feather. It's kind of funny. <laughs> now, smart thing back here. All of our hookups are in one spot, which is nice. I like how the power is separate from the water, even though there's actually no nothing to worry about there. People get worked up over it, and I don't have to. Black tank flush right there being uh, a, a very handy feature that in this size and budget of hybrid camper you don't typically find. Now, uh, I noticed above the rear bed there is actually a, uh, a backup camera, which is very darn handy if you're wanting to make sure you don't run over your partner when they're spotting you. That's always a benefit. I have found um, uh, it's it's uh, a much higher likelihood of staying married when you don't run over your significant other um, while backing up the camper. And a power awning finishes us off with outside TV hookups. Good stuff, guys. A lot of good stuff. So, new used, otherwise, uh, pop-up, hybrid, travel trailer, fifth wheel, toy hauler, everything between, motor home. I mean, the only thing we don't have at Halo RV is hidden dealer fees. So, give us a call because we do it all. Take care, stay safe, have fun. And happy camping, everyone. Congratulations. Safe travels back to Pennsylvania. Doug, sorry, I've been called worse than Doug. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs>